Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. These are special waterproof matches. Rather than conventional combustion, they use a similar reaction to that of grease fires, which you should never pour water on. No. As you can see here, pouring water onto this match does nothing to stop the fire from burning. Grease fires are more oily though. These sort of waterproof matches are due to oxidizer reaction. The match is and they don't last for that long. <laughs> completely submerged beneath the water, but doesn't go out until it runs out of fuel. No. If you take a slinky and drop it while it's in tension, you'll notice that the bottom of the slinky doesn't start falling until the rest of the slinky catches up. That is true. It's kind of how shock waves travel. In fact, in nuclear reactors, we model similar delayed responses when designing systems to withstand seismic events or extreme high pressure loss of coolant type accidents. So yeah, that's a very real thing. It's cool. If you blow out a candle, you can relight it from above by lighting a stream of unburned wax vapor that propagates the flame back to the wick. Mm -hmm. Yep, look at that. That's because the hot wax is continuing to vaporize. And this is something you really need to consider in nuclear accidents. Fuel vapor flashback in hydrogen containment scenarios, i.e. what happened at Fukushima. The uh, one was the fake one. Seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. This cool slinky phenomenon is 100% real, and you actually can relight a candle using its unburned mm -hmm. wax vapor. That's not necessarily a good thing either. None of what I said about this match was true. I just filmed okay. filling the container up and lighting the match in two separate shots. That wasn't even a trick candle. And overlaid them, changing the opacity of one of the layers.